I am Supreet Nadella. I am Tavishi. I am Vedha. And I am Vishesh. Hey guys, I came across an article about Rosalind Franklin. Ever heard about her? Rosalind Elsie Franklin was an English chemist and X-ray crystallographer. She was born on 25th July 1920 in London. Franklin is best known for her work on X-ray diffraction images of DNA while at King's College in London. Apart from this, she had also been working on the molecular structure of various other substances too. She completed her education in St Paul's Girls School and her alma mater in the University of Cambridge. When I visited a science workshop last year, I learned a lot about her work on the DNA. She played a catalytic role in unraveling the structure of the DNA which has benefited all of humanity. She is best known for an X-ray diffraction image that she and her graduate student Raymond Gosling published in 1951 which was key to the determination of the DNA double helix. A few years after her early death, Francis Crick who was credited for the discovery of the DNA alongside James Watson admitted in a letter that the data which really helped us to obtain the structure was mainly obtained by Rosalind Franklin. In essence, it is because of Franklin that today's researchers are able to use tools such as DNA sequencing and X-ray crystallography to investigate viruses such as SARS-CoV-2. Now that you mentioned this, I have heard people call her as the wronged heroine, the dark lady of DNA, the forgotten heroine, and also the Sylvia Plath of molecular biology. But I never understood why. Even though Rosalind's discoveries today give us the answers to a lot of questions concerning the basis of science, she wasn't recognized as much during the 90s. One of the reasons was the discreditation of her work by Watson and Crick, two famous scientists of the UK. Initially, both Watson and Crick had come up with an alternative DNA structure which was stamped inconsistent by journals. After a few years of reconstruction, they were shown Rosalind's double helix model by a colleague and they used critical details from her conclusions to complete their research. After their research was published, they received a lot of recognition and a Nobel Prize in 1962. Sadly, Rosalind and her work were never mentioned in the list of credits until 15 years later when Watson admitted to secretly seeing Franklin's DNA X-rays. This shows the tendency of discrimination and dark patriarchy that lingered in the STEM industry in Europe during the 90s. Vishesh, you've been very silent today. What else did you find out about from the article? And that she moved to J.D. Bernal's lab at Birkbeck College where she studied and observed the three-dimensional structure of viruses. She obtained some diffraction patterns of tobacco mosaic virus, TMV, which was of great detail and clarity. Her dedication to work is commendable. She achieved so much in so little time. But that isn't all. From the article I read, she worked on RNA too, right? Yes. Some essential conclusions put forward by Rosalind Franklin include her work on RNA or ribonucleic acid. From 1953 to 1958, Franklin worked in the crystallography laboratory in London, where she completed her work on coals and on DNA, and began her project on the molecular structure of the tobacco mosaic virus, like you mentioned before. Through the study, she was able to prove that RNA in the virus is found embedded in the protein rather than the central cavity and is a single strand helix compared to DNA which is a double helix. Wow, this is brilliant. She must have received many awards and a lot of recognition for her work. She did not receive many awards because of her early death. In fact, the only award she did receive was the Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize. But later, she did receive many posthumous honours. Some of them are 1997 Birkbeck, University of London opened the Rosalind Franklin Laboratory. 2005, a DNA sculpture was built in Cambridge Memorial Court which describes Rosalind Franklin's structure on DNA. 2008, Institute of Physics came up with a biennial award, namely the Rosalind Franklin Medal and Prize. 2021, University of Warwick opened the Rosalind Franklin Lab for the COVID-19 test, which was the largest testing facility in the UK. This has been really interesting. Her story is so fascinating. This conversation has inspired me to read about more scientists like her.